Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are out here at Toboggan Disc Golf Course for a nice casual practice round with Turning Pro Team Discraft Tim Barham. Hello everyone. <laughs> Thanks guys. Uh, yeah, we're just going to have some fun today. I haven't played here, I was just telling Tim, since uh, 2010 and 2011 in Am Nats. I haven't played here since then, so it's going to be an adventure for me for sure. Luke has never played, although he was going to play Am Nats this year. Got cancelled due to COVID. So, um, and we got Tim here. Thanks for coming. Yeah, Anything glad to make say, it. Tim? Uh, yeah, uh, the course has been in for a few days now. All I've heard from everybody is how nice it looks. So I'm excited to get out there. Awesome. Okay. Let's have some fun. Yep. Hey, everybody. It's Team Taylor Commentary back in the booth where it is in a booth here on hole one. Just a disclaimer. This course is a lot more massive in real life than on camera. It still looks massive on camera. Oh, look at it too. It's in the open. You gotta look at it too. Cool. But it's a lot more massive in real life. Yeah, as we just said, this was Luke's first time here, and he was just super pumped, running around like a little puppy dog there, as you can see. Um, and I, I was excited too. It was we were looking forward to a great time. Here goes Tim, going with the backhand. We think this is an Avenger SS. We don't remember. That might have been a mid. I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know. It's going it was... the wrong way. It definitely came out. Oh, yeah, I saw it come yep. hit the ground there. Right up all the flat. All right. Something flippy. <laughs> Didn't turn quite as much as he wanted it to there. This is a, um, what is that thing? It's a force. Crystal, it's a crystal, crystal flex. Sp crystal sparkle flex. Crystal force. That's a lot of adjectives. Yeah. <laughs> and a lot of air time. This course is so fun. It's in the open. In the open, in the fairway. There you go. Not bad. No. Safe. The forehand is definitely safer on hole one. Pretty simple approaches here. It's it's a it's a definitely a bonus birdie. There's a lot of those on this course, but it's pretty easy par as long as you keep it out of the OB. And we weren't playing too much OB today. Yep. As long as you don't dump it to the right right off the tee pad. Um, Good approaches by all there. I remember back when I played Am Nats here, I turned a driver over way too much and it rolled right past the pin and out of the circle. I remember and, watching that footage. And that was actually on like Disc Golf Live Monthly or something, like way back in the day. Bunch of pars there. Yep. Good stuff. Good stuff. He's like, oh yeah, if you haven't played since way back then. Yeah, I'm gonna throw. You know, they they cut down so much of the brush. Yeah. Compared to. Last you used time. to never be able to like. See yeah, I, I don't even remember being able to see no, anything else just... except just this hole. So this is cool. Oh my gosh. I'm going with the same disc here as I did on hole one. This is my flippy Z Force. Okay, buddy, you can hide Come on. now. Yeah, you can Nicely done. <laughs> yeah, Tim saw that shot and you could hear him there. I had no idea what I was getting myself into. He thought he was playing with the, you know, a little kid. And then I'm, I, I said to him, uh, oh, oh yeah, Luke throws farther than I do now, basically. So <laughs> he's like, oh, sweet. Yeah, Tim's ripping on his test flight Hades here. We honestly made a lot of connections between our two Hades. Um, oh, trying yeah. to, got the turn. Trying to get up the hill a bit. Okay, drop in the middle. Drop. That's beautiful. Nice shot, Tim. Nice. Thank you. I, I love won't be doing that. The Hades do exactly that every time, and it's so great. Yeah, I like it so far. I haven't got too much work with it, but I'm digging it. Yeah, the test flights, I think, are a little bit more overstable than the prototypes that just released Get Years Today. I know they're all sold out. Short Oh yeah, perfect footing. You're gonna be able to put That kind of slipped out of my hand a little bit, but it did put me in a, a really nice spot for the second shot, honestly. Yeah, the short tee here gives you perfect footing. Oh yeah, Dad. And I was really happy with that shot. I, that felt like a crush for me. So yeah, this hill. <laughs> a control, control this, crush. This, <laughs> this hill is longer than it looks. Oh, it's massive. Yeah. I mean, it looks long, and it's even longer than it looks. Yeah. Right? 
you got to get out and play this course, everybody, if you have not. Take advantage when it's in the ground. Go play it. Play the five, pay the yeah. pay the entry fee, and it is worth it. Between like June and end of July, kind of. It's only so, in for like a month and a half. Yep. So you know, Timmy got up here farther, but then you've got this uphill run up, which is difficult. That'll work. But he gets up there. That's going to be an easy up and down from there. Yep. Fairway is good on this hole. Mm. I've got a challenger in my hand. Feeling good. Yeah, the basket's up there somewhere. The Should be fine. And I got over here. That was like my only play to like get to the basket. It was like a soft forehand roller thingy. Yeah, you found kind of a bad spot there. Yeah. I should out a little bit more than I wanted to. I wanted to flip a little bit. And that looks like a good shot from Tim. Got a look here for my birdie, according to you, Disc. No. Not this time. Man, looked good. Just a half an inch high, maybe. Yeah, I thought this was playing as a par four because I think that's what they played it as He's at the crank. Great Lakes Open. Crank is a good play. Yes, it is. Makes a big good play for you trying to go big. It's good play on anything. Normally, never. Try. Might as well try it. All right. We got to lose right now. <laughs> Nothing. No time whatsoever. Yeah, I was playing as a par four at the Great Lakes Open last year. So I oh, two. Yeah, that's how I was playing. Oh, okay. There. I think on new disc it's still a par five. So either way, you know, yeah. whatever. <laughs> Look at this. Somebody in the background really good. seen Tim play and was like, driving by. Yeah, yeah Timmy. Yeah, it was funny. And I pulled out my crank thinking I'm going to do the same thing as Tim Barham. Oh, no, I just hyzered it out. I didn't commit to it. <laughs> yeah, as soon as I see you release it on extreme spike hyzer angle, I was a little bit concerned. Hey, man. <laughs> if, you're gonna, if you're going to air on this hole, you air to the left for sure. You do not want to go short right yeah. and turn over too quickly. Just pulling out my straight fairway driver. Look at the air time. What a fun shot, right? Yeah. I just threw mine with a little too much hyzer as well, and we're, we'll both have decent up shot stuff here. <laughs> and this is my good old first run Z Nuke. Crushed it. Love that disc. Got the full flight. I, I love getting to throw it. I honestly don't get to throw it too much, you know. Um, on, on, on the courses we normally play. Yeah, this is a pass. Yeah, right. I'll let you finish. Which is fine, but it's so fun to come out to a big course like this and actually throw some long shots of, you know, just air it out. Yeah, we got to really throw far at this course. <laughs> yes, we did. Yeah. Yeah, and this is a trend you're going to see, this force turning over a little bit more than I want. This is actually my go-to distance disc now. Um, at, at this time, it was like my, you know, some, it was oh, an overstable distance disc, but now it's, it's just straight distance. So, Just wanted to say that. Okay. Simple challenger upshot for me. Tim's going for the three here. He's got his... Uh, I think those are challengers. Pro, I yep. think they're pro D. Mm -hmm. Different stamp than you'll normally see on the pro D. It's really cool, actually. Yeah, I think it's just the old style stamp. Yeah. Old trusty challengers. I don't know if there are any ticks on that. Yeah, everybody. That's for sure. I don't think I have any ticks. We're all good. That's good to know. If be on anything, I go with the safest one. Yes, so yes. in this position, if I was scared of something maybe turning too much or staying too straight, I'm just going to opt for the more stable one that's safer, which is what I need to do right now. Okay. So when, when in doubt, go safer. Yeah, <laughs> always. <laughs> if you're in a tournament, at least. Yep, definitely. I think Tim's ripping on his proto Zeus here. That looks good. Nice. That's really good. 
Yep, he's Tim dropping some pro tour wisdom on us right there. I'll go. Always go safe. Luke trying to steal my pad. <laughs> no, you were drying off your disc very nonchalantly. <laughs> no, we had plenty of time. I should have just let you go ahead. Oh, I think I like going over here like you do. Yeah, I'm going to do it a lot. They let us do it in the event. Uh-huh. Disc golf. That hat, that hat is one of the hats I got from Amnats, I believe. Um, and it's been sitting in a box for like 10 years, and I just found it recently, and I was like, oh, I totally forgot I had this hat. And it's just a awesome looking hat. It's got, I love the little uh, small logo on the front of the disc craft. Yeah. I need to throw it in. ESP swirl nuke, just extra shot here. Yeah, there was. I threw that Z force and it just flipped over a little more than I wanted to again. Yeah. Yeah. So Tim's just coming. seeing what this disc does, you know. And it goes perfect. Oh, yeah. That's perfect. That's, that's in the perfect it. spot. A little sneaky. And I've got this little forehand Heiser flip to flex shot here. Just. Come on, buddy. Through it. Minus the flip. Yeah, I didn't get it to flip <laughs> over into the flex. It, it's honestly still quite a ways to the basket from there, although it might not look like it. Yeah, this is one hole that I never played back, like I said, like nine, ten years ago. I mean, it was not this format of this hole. Got it. Got it. Hit my window. Still a little shorter than I wanted. But I did hit my gap, so I was pretty happy about that. Tim's going forehand flex something here. I don't know what he's ripping on for this shot. It's a yellow one. Well, it got back to either. Nice. We'll call it the bumblebee. We'll it. It's yep. about as far as I am. Even though there's no black on it, we'll call it the bumblebee. I've got my jawbreaker buzz here. Forehand turnover line. Oh, that was so close. Shnikes. <laughs> Threw an extra one for fun, and it was the tourist. 2019 Tour Series Tim Barham Buzz SS, and it was parked. Well, so obviously you should be throwing I that. I know. Out. I don't understand why I didn't. Jeez. I know. I, I feel ashamed of myself as well. Got as you, as long, you should. Long look here. Just a little too high. Not leaving them short right now, so that's good. Not too much danger on that putt. We were all outside the circle here still, I believe. I thought I made that, that all day. That I thought like, I made that. That was like the one that I had on hole two. I thought it was in the whole way. Like I was about to start running it in. I was like, in. yeah, nice and high uphill. Oh, it didn't It didn't drop. Yeah. At least it sat down. You can get rollaways on this one. Can Tim get the birdie here? Redeem the cards, Tim. Come on. Ooh. We all missed time. Hey, at least we all missed time. It used to be basically straight. Yep. And, and you would just see it right there. Yeah, and we would just go <laughs> boom and like crack. You would jam hazard. Yep. Or a big style or whatever. Now you have to throw up here on an angle that like pierces up through all the space and up. Yeah. It's farther than it is to be this too. It's supposed to kind of trick. How long do you think it is? Uh probably about three. 300 to 320, yeah. depending on like how much of an angle you play on it. Right. Big Tim's got the Avenger SS that I think he threw on hole one. Kind of questioning whether or not that's an Avenger SS right now. Maybe he can comment and uh, yeah. tell us that the truth. Yeah. We'll just yeah, we'll just yeah, say yeah. it's an Avenger SS He's for now. Listening oh, for oh, it and, yeah. and heard nothing, which is a good sign on this hole. Yeah, there's a lot of trees you have to get through. He was also, like, and we could have just said he was listening for chains. I believe it was an Avenger SS because I heard him say it and then I pulled mine out too. And I was like, well, I might as well. Yeah, that's a cool looking Avenger SS, Dad. And it's a stable one. It's a, it's for an Avenger SS. For an Avenger. Yeah, I threw it one time and I was like, man, that thing is stable for an Avenger SS. And you did hear some wood there, but it was late, so I think I'm in the neighborhood. I'm pulling up my overstable ESP swirl vulture here, just making sure to turn it over. Which I do do, because, um... Yep, overstable? That's, that's the line you want. Yeah, I, That's the line you want. Yeah, I threw So here I am, I ended up in a nice looking spot here. Uh, 40, 
For Something her. for birdie. Nice putt with the Taylor slow mo. Out of my hand, I was like, yeah. <laughs> nice putt. It's always a good feeling when you know it's in right out of the hand. Well, you never know, but yeah, I was like, got it, you know, to myself yeah. in my head. I'm just outside the circle here as well. And two Taylor slow mos on the same hole. Unheard of. Oh, yeah. Oh my god, I'm in it. <laughs> Literally, I was gonna say before everybody even made their sweet putts that our drives were like better than a full group at last year's people. <laughs> like the fact that all three of us got up here to putting was super cool. And we got major putts, which is insane. That's sick, triple deuce. Yeah, we just Start the That doesn't even happen at deep low with all pros. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty cool on that hole. We all deuced it. the same. I always had the accuracy back in, but never the distance. So I just forced myself. A lot of field work. Yeah, field work can be boring, yep, but that's how you. Work but it pays off. That's how you get distance. Working on your field work, working on your form. I do not as much like this hole right now. Whoa, that's a. How far is the landing zone on the plateau? Okay. Farther than it looks? Like, it's hard to get up there? 400? Four. No, like, like 350? 350, three, He's about the 350, 360, yeah, yeah. Upper side of 350. This is hard to get there. Yeah. I, really, I think that Tim's ripping on a crank here. Oh, well, that looks money. Oh, that's yeah. way That's, that's way really way good. There. Oh man, I'm one of my best drives ever. But well, like I said, it just doesn't quite. Very nice, very nice. I keep Luke forgetting trying I'm good to after getting my pad again. <laughs> I keep forgetting that I'm Bob right now. I'm, I've got a big Z crank. Well, you can see it finish there. Not okay, bad. Yeah, Not unexpectedly, I'm just a. <laughs> A bit shorter than Tim. <laughs> yeah. that, that'll happen most of the, most of the yeah. time. Going with that same Z force, you get to really rip on a lot of the same stuff at this course, but that's good. Nope, it's gonna flip. We're um, gonna come back. Well, you'll find yourself reaching for yeah. your your go-to long-distance driver. Yeah. You know. Yeah, um, but it's a bunch of different angles. It's not that every shot is the same. Great practice course here. It's it's great. It's a sweet course. Yeah, before I throw this throw, I'd like to say something. Hashtag grip lock. Oh <laughs> and bye-bye. There's a huge hill down there. Well, you committed to <laughs> the power shot there. Yeah, I should have reached for my fairway drivers. Kudos for that. should have reached for I'm, my stalker, not the Hades. I'm trying to, you know, do like a long turnover forehand, and I just turned it too much too quick. Yeah, everything's bigger than it looks on camera, guys. Like, Tim shot here, maybe it looks more like 250. He still has to like pump his Buzz SS to get it there. It's n he, this hole is long, so yeah, for sure. That looks really good. Oh yeah. Get up there. Get. Nice. And he still has a little tester to go yeah. there. I've got my Hades here because I don't want to kill my hand on this tree. And to get it to turn a little bit, but then it hyzers out. Just really uphill. Okay. Level up. Like 250, really uphill. That was not an easy shot after the bad kick all the way down the cliff. That looks good. Challenger. Can't go wrong with that. Nope. Outside the circle, look to save par. Can I make it? Yes, indeedy do. Well another, done. Another Taylor slow mo. I was feeling good after this. Well done there. Oh, he's heating up. <laughs> Tim was really encouraging the whole time. Just another huge thank you to Tim for coming out here and playing with us. Yeah, absolutely. It was so fun. Um, I've played with Tim, you know, several times before, and uh, glad he agreed to come and play with us. It was an awesome time. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe, and stay tuned for parts two and three. Till next time, have fun disking.